So, hi, so have you heard of basilar artery occlusion? Well, I had an 85 year old patient and basically this guy was sit sitting in a chair, he has atrial fibrillation and he's on warfarin or Coumadin and his INR is at around 1.5. Um, so what happened is he was just laying down in his chair and then he felt a little bit dizzy so then he basically laid down and then <clears throat> he was um, awoken by his wife because he wasn't moving. So he woke up a little bit and then you know t said a couple words and then he went right back down. And then um, after that time he didn't say anything or move any of the extremities. If you're in this situation and you have your family members which you know have changed their mental status that's the time to call 911 because this patient ended up having a basilar artery occlusion. So in the back of the brain, there is this artery, the basilar artery. So imagine my thumb is the basilar artery. So right here, he had an occlusion. So, so it basically goes up the back of the brain and that blood supply allows you to move all of your extremities. When that blood supply is cut off, you can't move all of your extremities because that area carries all the tracts that go down. So breathing is affected, the ability to move extremities is affected, and the ability to even uh, move your eyes from left to right is also affected. So here's my one minute. If you have somebody that's in this altered mental status situation, we call it posterior circulation pathology. So do something about it. Go to the emergency room, get checked out.